now we have some uh, some high beetle mash if anybody is interested in purchasing some uh, high beetle mash uh. Hello everyone, Lorenzo here from RVT. So it's been about a couple weeks since last video. Um, today, you know, I'm out doing a check on all the hives. And uh, as I was driving up here from my, with my tractor from the house, I noticed a bunch of bunch of beasts up front. Right there. They kind of like bearding, so it is another hot day today. Uh, last time I checked it was like 95 something like that uh, We did have some rain About uh, last weekend, I think it was um, But Now it's hot again, so We're gonna go open this hive see what uh, hive number one see what the What is looking like in there? I didn't show in the video, but uh, when I went to check uh, put some feed on the on my hive number two and three um, I actually decided to open it up and I noticed that the hive number two was smaller so I took one of those frames from over there and I thought they had too much space for them so I decided to uh, remove one of those frames and I just brought it over here put it in there to see how so we're gonna check to see how that's doing and um, we go from there so let's open it up All right, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to hurry up and oh, we got some more high beetles from the corner over there. So they're right there on the corner. So I'm gonna go ahead and smash them with my high tool and uh, open it up. Yeah, leave it right there.
Now we have some uh, some high beetle mash. If anybody is interested in purchasing some uh, high beetle mash on my website, I'm kidding. <laughs> Ew, <laughs> that's nasty. Smoke them out a little bit. See a lot of drones flying out. So it looks like they're still working there on this first on, on this first frame right here. They haven't drawn it out yet. I'm just interested to see what they did with the with the frame that I gave them. This is the frame that I gave him. I think it was like, I don't know, a week or two weeks ago, something like that. Uh, this this one has the, uh, the artificial comb. It's kind of windy today, so I'm pretty sure they don't like this. And oh my God, this is heavy. Oh my goodness, this is full of nectar, got nectar one side, I wish I had drawn out comb already, you know, they get to work like really fast. I would have been probably harvesting honey right now. I just saw a high beetle going there. Yeah. All right, so they're still drawing out that comb right here. I don't know if you can see that but looks like they're still drawing out the comb for uh, I guess for honey oh we have a fatality here I'm gonna go ahead and remove her from the without her stinging to me because I know they still sting and I don't want the stinger to come out So, I'm going to go ahead and get the frame. How many frames do I have? I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. got 15 frames in here. Now, I don't know which one is the one that was at the end. That was already drawn out. It looked like they were about to cap. It looked like they were about to cap it, so. But I can't remember which one it was. Oh, it's this one right here. Oh, 
I'm uh, I think I'm gonna have to bring more frames because uh, <laughs> oh my goodness, this one is heavy as hell. That's heck. <laughs> Gotta keep it PG. Yeah, I still, I still have to draw it down. Yeah, I'll show you. I'll show you. Right there, it got some uh, cap honey right there. Looks like they still have to cap like half of the bottom portion. And this side, uh, same thing. Still have to, uh, that area on the top is capped. Uh, the area on the bottom, is they still have to work on it. So. Put it back in here, carefully. I don't know how long my camera is gonna last. I think they're gonna need more space here. Not good. Sorry, I haven't been saying saying much, but I'm trying to concentrate, I'm trying to keep the uh, fatality ratio down on the community here. I'm gonna take this one out. Check it out. This one has some food in there, mixed with nectar. Oh my goodness, just wind. Oh no. There's a brood, and it's not as heavy as the one that the, the honey is. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and remove this last one. See, right there, they're bearding outside here. Got a bunch of bees out here. So.
Yeah, I don't like this wind. Oh my goodness, I see a bunch of high beetles. This one right there, kind of high for me. They're freaking fast. Those boogers are fast. And I don't want to squeeze the bees. So this one has some uh, honey on the top, brood on the bottom. Um, seems like the uh, they're going honey bound or something because um, there's a lot of uh, honey everywhere. And there's no way for me to put more frames on here. I'm gonna go ahead and put him back. Well, I got some uh, couple of fatalities here. I hate I hate when I do that. I just don't like it. Ah, just too many bees. But I got some uh, beetles right here. Right there, got three of them. Um, there was a lot more than three though so this uh this bee right here wants to get rid of this carcass come on of the beetle yeah the beetle anyways uh <laughs> sorry I'm, I'm not making sense right now but i'm trying to figure out how to go about maybe moving the hive a little bit to the top a little bit higher
Alright, so this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna close them up and I'm gonna come back this weekend. I'm gonna come back this weekend, open it up, and hopefully they have some capped honey, like actually most of it capped. Um, that way I can go ahead and take that frame and then I, I can start putting frames back in there, the like empty frames. Because it looks like we have a bunch of bees and uh, the queen is gonna run out of space to put the, uh, you know, put some eggs in there so I don't I don't want to go honey bound because you know they're not drawing comb enough fast enough to uh, put the honey and have the you know more space for the queen so I'm just gonna go ahead and come back this weekend and uh, maybe I'll take a frame out here so I can have a little bit more space, but I still need to bring some more um, Hold on, I'll be back with you. I'm gonna have to seal this this hive and I don't want to squeeze anybody Oh, I got one <laughs> Yep, I got one fatality. Move along, nothing to see here. Move along. Got a drone here. I'm gonna, leave, I'm gonna go ahead and leave the door kind of open on the bottom. The door open, the uh, the lid open. That way I can get back in there. But I'm pretty much done here. Uh, we'll go to hive number two. See how they doing. All right, so here we are, hive number two. Looks like they finished off the uh, pickle chips.
still not drawing any uh still not drawing any any comb from this one I have uh, four frames. What is that? Oh, there's some kind of beetle in there. It's, it's not a high beetle. Got some uh, eggs in there, brood. So the queen is laying. Got some more brood on this side. So this queen doesn't seem to be in a hurry, so Actually, both of these queens. Mm. I'm thinking about removing uh, a frame from here. They're not even they're not even touching this. I mean, they do have some. Uh, when they first moved in here, they drew that little portion right there. And they have some uh, bee bread in one of them. But I, I see no, uh, I see no eggs, no larvae, no nothing on here. Larvae, I've been calling it larvae, lar larvae. Uh, and the other side, the back side too, there's nothing on it. So I'm just gonna take this, this one out. And uh, hopefully they start just growing because the rate that they're going is not good let's see this last frame and queen should be on this frame There she is right there. They're going up there. So she's still there, she's still alive. She's just hanging out. Lay laying the egg here and there. Got some brood there on that side. Got some more brood on this other side. But what I really want to see is just more, you know, more eggs from this queen. Because she's not even going on this side. She's just concentrating on that brood, on the small section right there, on both frames, on the one that I put back in there, and this one. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put them back with the queen. There she is. So she should be fine right there. It's a lot easier to handle this kind of uh, hive when they're <laughs> there only a few of them. But at the same time, you know, you don't wanna see that, so. They're just taking off, taking off very, very slow. I'm just gonna keep feeding them and oh, 
hopefully they'll eventually take off. I'm gonna go ahead and take this frame, take it over to my uh, tractor and um, I might put it on the other on the other hive too. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the freezer and freeze it and take it out the next morning and I put it back in the in the big hive. Yeah, hive number one. Okay. Moving on to hive number three. Got a spider there. You will get out of here, Spidey. Get, go, get, get. Ah, I just gotta knock it down. I don't wanna kill it, but cannot nest right here. Get in my bees. Fell down, so that's good. All right. Hive number three. Uh, the food is gone, so I have to bring some tonight. Uh oh, there's a cockroach looking thing in there. Empty. Some bees in there. I see the queen. I just have to get this roach out of here. I don't know if you can see it, it's on the bottom there. Oh, it flew off. <laughs> oh, there's a high beetle there too. There are two of them. Let me go get my high beetle killer. Yeah, these high beetles are not ideal for the bee community. Oh shoot, it took off. Damn it. Going back in the hive. Got one. There's the other one. It's okay, B. I got you. You just have to move, though. Oh, shoot. It fell down inside again. Where's my queen at? She was in this frame. I don't see her anymore. There's a high beetle in there, they're fighting it. I don't know where my queen at. God, oh shoot, the wind. 
yun. Oh my goodness. Come on, queen. Get down there. I thought I saw her go in there. Yeah, there she is. Don't get out, Queen. Woo! Oh my goodness. I don't know how she ended up right here. Right here. Oh man. Yeah, she's still in there. God. That got me so nervous. <laughs> I couldn't even breathe. <laughs> she's in there now. They're tending to her. Like if she just got lost for four hours. <laughs> Yeah, I guess the wind knocked it down and that's why it's not good to check on the on the highs when it's windy. Well one of the reasons. Besides that the bees don't like it, but the bee, <laughs> the queen, oh my god. I'm gonna go ahead and close it up and go ahead and uh take a breather because oh my god <laughs> I don't think I, I was breathing the whole time I, I lost the dang queen <laughs> and then uh, and then I found her I found her in the like in the feeder that where I put the jar in she was just walking in there god man that was scary <sighs> Anyways, uh, this is gonna be it for this video. <laughs> uh, just uh, if you want to see sneak previews before YouTube, make sure you fo follow me. No, me on Instagram. Uh, and also make sure that like. Oh my God! <laughs> you actually make sure you like and subscribe, and uh, and that's it. <laughs> Thank you for watching, and you have a great day.